Okay, so Matnam uh, for March 2023. Um, last month, uh, again, that's my computational uh, photography um, channel. Um, last month, I, I had developed this new insaturator, which is named Carbad Bob. And actually, interesting fact here, uh, I messed up the, the exportation of the code, of the compiled code, and you know, Camari got a previous version of that code, or, well, a buggy one, which kind of lost the blue color channel. Um, and so the results were kind of greenish, reddish, uh, like you can see on those three pictures. And instead of correcting it, because I thought the feel was pretty interesting, so... Uh, I try to stay objective and say, oh, could it make sense to leave it like this? Uh, does it, is it more interesting or more characteristic? Or how do I feel about the result sensually? So I, I continued trying randomly um, this version, this buggy version, let's call it like this, of Carbad Bob. Um, here again, three pictures uh, using it. And... After a while, I kind of I lost quite a few days just thinking about shall I reverse revert to the good version or maybe modify a few things. Um, and actually, I felt after a few days, uh, I felt it was kind of limited and a little bit too stylized. Um, not that the blue is kind of missing, but it felt, even with random shots like here, uh, felt limited. And, and here with those three pictures, even with random film layers on top, I think it's interesting, interesting textures, interesting color results, but it looks more like a colorizer than than a filter I, I would use on the long term. I always try to see if I get bored if, if past the honeymoon uh, using a new insaturator, a new filter. Uh, if past that, I don't get bored and kind of push it away. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to revert to to the, the three. At that point, I was... I was definitely thinking, let's revert to the unbuggy version with blue. Um, in the meantime, I was also working that month on on uh, a version of my software where you can load photos from from your library. Um, and here uh, I'm doing a few tests. Uh, it's not that easy. Uh, it can be easy to make something really basic, but it's not that easy to make something that makes sense again in terms of user experience and and usability. So uh, here I'm trying on some Polaroid uh, scan um, that messed up actually uh, chemically. Uh, I'm trying different uh, filters randomly on it to see if it adds something to a really analog texture. Um, I think it does. So. That will be interesting. I'll slowly, uh, I'll I'll bring that functions in one way or another. I'm really thinking about a new app uh, for kind of a limited ed edition app with the filter abilities. Um, but well, uh, yeah, that's my that's my process. I think it's coming, but it's uh, this month was kind of charged for me, so uh, not much resources to to go force beyond that. Um, but oh, continuing testing on, on anything, basically, my apps and my filters in random mode. Um, also, uh, for those who know my other channel about artificial intelligence, AI's hit, um, well, I, I was wondering if having um, a process that goes and gets uh, images from AI, uh, in that case, I've used um, Midjourney, um, trying to get rid of this kind of varnish mid-journey adds on the images, which kind of look always the same characteristics. If my addition of filterings and all the processes I have, if that makes it more realistic or more sensual. So I've been doing a few tests here, the four examples, well, two, two source images um, and two variations uh, using my my filtering processes. Um, does it make it more sensual, more photographic? I don't know. I'm not yet really convinced. But anyways, and on the right, still randomly trying my tools in different circumstances. Um, after a, kind of a pause when I decided for this Carbad Bob, which I was talking about before, uh, in Saturator, I wanted to correct it. I, I went back to the version, the buggy version, tried it a little bit to see if it was really a good idea. And yeah, uh, I was convinced. Uh, here are the two images on the left are the variator at the minimal uh, value and the maximum in the middle. And then on this contrasty uh, bicolor original scene, 
I felt still, oh yeah, it looks more like a colorizer than what I would be interested in. So here's the three pictures. I did a few modifications um, compared to the original non-buggy version, uh, but I added the, the blue channel back. Um, and as you can see, that the original image is on the left, uh, and then variator at the minimal value in the middle and maximum on the right. Um, definitely see that the red, green, and blue uh, channels are, are back. Um, they're not strictly red, green, and blue, but that's part of my my know-how on that module. But um, I feel I feel I made the right decision. Makes more sense photographically speaking. And here, for examples, again, of their old variations, the original is not here, but uh, with different filmulators and different uh, variation a slider uh, value at a different level, I think it makes more sense. So I felt quite um, compelled to, to maintain that version and republish um, the correction. Um, Again, traveling also gives you, I travel a lot, uh, I was traveling to London. Um, it's always, it refreshes refreshes your way of viewing things. Uh, and here I was trying also the app in different circumstances where I don't know the subject. And as you can see with those scenes, don't have much green, don't have much blue actually either. It's a very gray-like uh, uh, environment, an airport obviously. Yeah, but as you can see, the blue channel is quite quite subtle. That's what I wanted. You can see it on the middle image. You do have some blue, and when it turns some blue, it will come out kind of like this. Same for the red oranges, uh, as you can see on the picture on the right. Um, I think that's what I want. And and again, being here, being in London in various situations, uh, my final trial before going back to publishing it, uh, I think it works. Uh, the blue channel definitely brings something uh, to uh, the creation. Uh, here again, three pictures. Uh, that's north of London. Uh, variator at the minimal level and in the middle at the maximal level. And a random scene on the right. Um, yeah, I would definitely... I don't think I would get bored of this uh, module um, in the future. Here again, three random captures and very uh, different situations. Um, um, but here, with, to compare uh, with uh, other, on the left, that's Carbide Bob, but uh, middle, and middle too, actually. But on the right, that's not Carbide Bob. To see if there's a, a difference, um, an explicit difference, and see if I can actually feel um, the need for this extra insaturator. I, I don't really like the overlap. There's always some overlap, but but I like them to react differently. And as we can see here, or here, uh, where I go back to other, I also went back to other random uh, filters, insaturators, and filmulators uh, with the more contrasting ones on the left. Uh, that's actually a wall, uh, which has been really transformed by, by the filters, or in the middle, um, and on the right, uh, very different renderings, um, and I really think uh, Carvad Bob here it comes again with one big picture has a reason and gets uh, gives this really uh, strong saturated uh, uh, feel without making it too strong everywhere. So I kind of liked it. Once I took that decision, the months was it was an interesting month for me in terms of digital photography. Um, I decided to test something I haven't tested that much. I've, I've used it, but um, I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max with a 13 millimeter equivalent lens. So I was like, oh, I need now to, to test a little bit more extensively the change of focal lens, see if all those filters work really well with also wide angle, uh, not only the, the 90 millimeter equivalent or 80 millimeter equivalent on the phone. Um, and I need to use the flash more often just to see if uh, it works in random mode. So here are two examples, same place, uh, using Digital Paula, also testing the user experience of my different apps. And yeah, that's again, how do you say, like quality control, I will call it. Uh, and here between apps that do kind of the same thing, the same modules, but not the same user experience. You have Digital Paula on the left and uh, Dark Cam on the right. Uh, but definitely, I think, uh, it's, I like to feel that it's validated uh, and continue using my apps. 
Uh, that was the original uh, meaning, actually, of coding those apps. Originally, I wanted my tools, so here they are. And again here, um, uh, back to Kamare, uh, randomly testing uh, the, the app to see if something new could, could arise. Again, three other random uh, experiments. Uh, and yeah, um, so it was a month, an interesting month here going back to Iceland. Um, I, I think when you try to, when you start using really your apps and to, to memorize and using those filters, using a different way of taking pictures, which is not the simple raw image from the sensor, when you start really liking that feel the results uh, then that's where i feel the uh, it's successful um on the right that's carbat bob with a with a framing uh frame skin on it um but uh, less development this month but lots of views and and actually iceland was one one part of me having less time was uh, i i was presenting works at the art book fair um in reykjavik that's its museum of contemporary art uh, in Reykjavik, and and yeah, I was presenting part of the matière numérique work, where I focus on digital matter, and uh, I have this thesis about the black pixel. Anyways, um, just just I just wanted to say that you have to never forget why you take pictures for. Uh, what what's the goal is? In my case, I like to transmit sensations. I like to tell stories, but I also like to, I like the printed matter, and and that was uh, this book fair. It was interesting to show uh, digital matter, um, uh, computational uh, imaging uh, in real, and see how people reacted to the printed versions. And yeah, a very nice experience. And here are two pictures again. I think um, the gold is obtained for me if uh, I'm using my my apps and my weird filters um, to keep souvenirs. Uh, and that's a hot dog and those two geese um yeah that's how I, I took pictures of them and i think that's how i like to memorize them so hopefully that was entertaining don't hesitate to post comments or or questions below and and see you next next time mm -hmm.